Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm so buried in my work. I, I, I wouldn't even notice an earthquake. I didn't see you. How are you? Todd's case? Oh, yes. It is so good to see you. You know, Taya, I wish I could say the same. What are you doing? Why are you helping Todd? Am I helping Todd? Yes. I'd like to know. Here, sit down. Let me clear. No, this. I'm not staying. I'm actually meeting someone. No time for a croissant between former sisters-in-law? I prefer an answer. I'm defending Todd because I'm his lawyer. You're his lawyer, Taya, because you appointed yourself his lawyer. Must have read that in the banner since I didn't see you in court. You're right. I was not in court. Uh -huh. So maybe the question isn't why am I helping Todd, but why aren't you, his sister, helping him? Uh. Were you a slave? Well, no, I wasn't a slave. What do you want? I wanted to see if you were all right. Well, I'm alive. No thanks to you. did or who he hurt. Why did you marry him? Excuse me? It wasn't just the five million dollars, was it? No, it wasn't just the five million dollars. Well, I suppose we had a connection. We were both abandoned by our mothers. Both find it hard to trust people. And we both cared a great deal about Star. Okay, uh, he's not that man anymore. I beg to differ. He's exactly that man. In a tremendous amount of pain, lashing out at whoever and whatever hurts him. Well, then, fine. Maybe it's not what Todd has done. Maybe it's the people he has done it to. Yes, I did save your life. The least you can do is let me in. I need to take a CPR class at the rec. I brought you, you some want? muffins. You want blueberry or... You brought muffins? Blueberry, yes. Oh, wow, I hate muffins. A new level of ungrateful even for you, Todd. Thank you for bringing muffins, Blair. That's not what I meant, Todd. Well, thank you for taking the CPR class. Thank you for saving my poor, pathetic life, Blair. When all I and Marty wanted to do was end it. You actually wanted to jump off that building. That's very good, Blair. You wanted to actually kill yourself. Let's see what I share a muffin again. No, you know, you wouldn't do that, Todd. You're right, I hate You muffins. wouldn't commit suicide. Because I'm too much of a coward, right? Because when John pulled you out of the water, you had a tuxedo on. What the hell there is is that? You wouldn't dress up to kill yourself. Oh, God, you did it for Marty. You walked off that roof for Marty Saybrook, because you're trying to make up for everything that you did to her. Oh, God, how did she do that? How does she talk you into walking off that roof? And why do you give her so much power over your life, even more than your own children? You're right. I have always stood by Todd, even when he hurt members of my own family. And you know, my son Kevin never understood that. He actually thought that I favored Todd over him, over my own children. I remember that. Yeah. And I did it because I understood what made Todd the way he was. We shared a monstrous father. For whatever pain Todd 
Todd felt. I mean, I got it. I shared it with him. And that meant the world to him that no matter what, you always stood by him. Yeah. And I forgave him until last summer. Last summer, my daughter Jessica had a complete breakdown. Todd knew it. He did nothing to help her, and he said nothing about it. He allowed her to hold her own sister prisoner. She was going to kill Natalie. And then he held his rape victim hostage for no other reason other than to feed his own insane fantasy. And that's when I decided forgiveness is not necessarily a good thing for Todd. Blair had taken his kids away. He was out of his mind. Do you Vicky. know why? Do you know why he took Sam? and put him in the front seat of his car. No car seat, no child seat, and then what got into an accident, an accident that could have killed Sam. But if it was an accident, accident... And he had a huge fight with Star that resulted in her falling down an entire flight of stairs. He brutalized her boyfriend, Marty's son. Look, if I know Todd, and I think I do, he probably thought he was trying to protect Star. Taya, that's a very odd, violent way to go about He's always had a blind spot when it comes to Star. You know, he loves her more than anything else in the world. I used to think that. I don't anymore. I don't think he remembers how to be a father. I think all he knows now is how to dole out pain. Kids don't want me. Of course they do. No, I, you won't let them see me. Of course, they're not fighting you on it either. They still need you to be their father. The one that you could be. Would you give me a break with that? My God. What's the first thing you always said when we had a fight? I'm taking the kids, Todd. Don't expect to see him well, again. And the court made it very clear how you could get oh, kids yes. back. I'll be a good little boy. No, you could be a grown-up, Todd. All of this could be different if you just act like a grown-up. I'm a grown-up. No, you are not a grown-up. You run away. You run away. Yeah, I'm you still sitting here. Yeah, right. well, you know, you didn't have to leave town this time. Just went off in that stupid little fantasy land you have with Todd. It is. It wasn't a fantasy. Yes, it I was. loved her. Oh, don't make me puke. It's true. Oh, you don't love her, Todd. You don't love her. You never did, and you never will.